Hello fellow adventurers, this is Hiccup of the Brothers on Consoles, and we are back, and well, no, wow. Hello fellow adventurers, this is Hiccup of the Brothers on Consoles, and I am here to bring you my playthrough of one of my favorite RPG games ever, the Mass Effect series. This game franchise... I've played all of them multiple times, and, and it all just doesn't get any better than, what it, than how it's been. And Hello fellow adventurers, this is Hiccup of the Brothers on Consoles, and I am coming at you with my first of hopefully many videos on my playthroughs of the Mass Effect series. Now, this has been my favorite RPG game franchise ever. Ever since I heard, ever since I first played the third game, I was instantly amazed by by how well Bioware has been able to create a fun gameplay element, as well as an interesting story and characters that you learn to love and want to get to know more. It just it gets all the kinds of elements that I want in a video game, and actually does it. And not only does it, but does it well. So you know what, enough about me, let's just get right into it. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Uh, Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Yeah, so for these play for this particular playthrough, I'm only gonna do it this once. For just this game specifically, because honestly, it just makes it go a little bit smoother. I'm going to be using a previously created character because he has bet he's gotten better upgraded, and frankly, the main reason I like having it is because of the the upgraded charm meter, so that I don't have to worry about making on cool decisions in my opinion because I like going Paragon. I just, I like being a Paragon. I like being the hero. I like being able to talk my way out of bad situations. So this one just, ma doing this just makes that easier and frankly the game just goes a little bit more, just more smoothly than in my life, than going fresh off the bat. So, and I think I will go this one, I think. So yeah, as you can probably see, I'm I usually play as with an origin. I am a spacer, which, if any of you don't know, is that the part of the, that part of the origin is where your family has been. You, you were raised up by a military family in the alliance. Both your parents were in the navy, and then I chose to be a. War, I chose the reputation of the war hero, where in some sort of, you found yourself in a circumstance where you were able to risk your life to save not only your so, your fellow comrades and soldiers, but an entire but an entire planetary colony, earned you the reputation of, yes, a war hero. And I find that very useful when you're trying to be, like, the hero kind of character. And I play as the class of the Sentinels, because honestly, for me, it it's a nice all-around mix of all different kinds of attacks that you can use against your enemies. I know I've heard that the that the adept is more of the mage kind of character, but just for this particular game, I prefer something that's a little bit. I see it as the kind of character that hits all the marks that it needs to. I mean, I know that it hits that other classes hit all the marks for 
other players by their playstyles, but this one just fits my playstyle a little easier. So, you know what? Let's get into it. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. I'll just let you read it. You can pause it to read it, but it's easier to just read it to yourself than to say it out loud. With this now, you don't get to see Initiating transmission it sequence. Comes right up your face. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. <laughs> Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Agreed. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Hmm. He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> uh, yeah. Characters, they I just... I just saw him. He awesome. marked by like he was on a mission. He's a Spectre. They're always on a mission. We're getting dragged, right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna get... I just forgot. I want to get myself my best armor, which I think is the one. Is it the Mantis? I completely forget. And, and... Ooh, I'm not sure if that was the best one. Hang on. I had another one. It looked pretty good, too. But maybe I got rid of it. Wait. Uh, the 
this actually might be my better one. Though it kind of... Man. Ah, uh, yeah, I think this is the one that I was looking for. But it's just not as good as the time... As the, uh... As the other one. Ah. Uh, dang, that's actually tough. What is it called? The Mantis? So I guess I'll go with green. I guess I'll full, go full green for this one. Here's something else, sir. Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus? I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The Captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. <laughs> What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races. Like the Turians. 
We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. Huh. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's gotta be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Oh. Right. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, so I'll probably do a lot of stuff talking, investigating, that kind of thing. Yeah, and I've kind of made it my mission to make sure that in every RPG I try to make sure to ask questions. Because the more you know, the better you'll get at this. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. God forbid the entire crew doesn't know that. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Well, then. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Huh. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Huh? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Hmm. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. 
I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Hmm. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us at school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Ah, the beacon. Speaking of which... Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Such as... Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Hmm. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Right, Just then. give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden... Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Uh, 22nd century communication skills. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Dun, dun, dun. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Perimeter 
Computer secure. right through his shields. You're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Hmm. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Where would the scientists be? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. 
seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Hmm. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime, none that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Hmm. Well, let's move, move out. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Ooh, this is Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Oh, that's just... Thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's up with that? What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. True. Is it madness to see the future? 
To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Oh god, I'd rather not go there. Anyway. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of oh. evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. So saw I coming a mile away. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Oh. Ooh. Williams, That's take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. All right. We are reaching our time limit for now. But don't worry. We'll be back for another for for a continuation of the adventure into Mass Effect. And if you like some bit and you like video and if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook under under BOC under BOC Hiccup. And uh, just let me know if you want to talk about me or just talk about video games in general. About other one, about this one, about other ones, upcoming ones. I'd be willing to talk. I love talking to other gamers and fans of games. Until then, this is Hiccup of the Brothers on Consoles, signing off.